My dearest friends, thank you so much for coming. It has been too long. Welcome to XCOM Enemy Within Splice Strategies. Now you might have noticed this is a new quote and now ask, is this a new introduction film? I mean, the quote's orange too. And the answer is no. The quote is awesome. The movie's exactly the same. So we're just going to go ahead and fast forward through the opening cinematic. It's not like Lex Luthor's going to tell us anything we don't know already. Just like last time, the difficulty will be classic with the Iron Man setting turned on, and we'll be starting off in Africa. So let's get down to Cape Town, South Africa, where everyone's a hero for Operation Pepper Statistics. As stated in previous videos, we're not going to be just ditching all the people from our last campaign. They get to keep their designations, though we won't be able to fix their designations until after the mission. So say hello to everyone regenerated as rookies, we have 01 DJ Sucre from Spain, 05 Evil Emmy San from Scotland, 03 Beto Burr from Britain. That's a terrible accent. Eh, we can always get rid of it in post editing. And 06 Jimmy from Mexico. So I don't know why these aliens are attacking this office, but given the name of the mission, Pepper Statistics, I'm pretty sure it's a reference to the fact that these are accountants and they're cooking the books. Clearly these are the humans who are doing the aliens' taxes, and the aliens are trying to get everything through the shredder before we show up. But no amount of white-collar crime is going to deter XCOM. We're just too hardcore. So one of the cool new features of Enemy Within is a new resource called Meld. There's usually two canisters of Meld in each mission, and each canister is on a timer. Once that timer goes, you'll lose the chance to collect the Meld. What Meld is used for is for gene modifications and upgrading soldiers into giant hulking cyborgs. So obviously, I'm highly motivated to try and collect this Meld. It's a great new feature to add because people like me really like to just slowly and methodically move through the missions. But by adding an artificial timer in each mission to get a resource that I want, suddenly I have to take more risks than I'm comfortable with. XCOM is at its best when it's forcing you to make tough decisions. With no canisters of meld in my immediate vicinity, I figure that I'm probably going the wrong direction, and I'm going to have to switch course if I'm going to get any meld. And while we're changing directions, we startle some greys that were cutting some 1099 reports to ribbons. We're from the IRS. Prepare for a severe audit. Well, how severe could it be? We audit with guns. Oh crap, that's severe. The IRS is hardcore now. With our division's policy on collections now fully understood, we move to keep up the pressure. DJ Sucre finds one tax evader and uses it as an excuse to break some windows. Yeah, that, uh, th that was a warning shot. We set everyone else up in defensive positions should the alien decide to bum rush DJ Sucre, but the alien decides he'd rather feed Sucre a plasma sandwich. It tastes like burning. That leads the rest of the evidence destruction team to come see what's going on. And what's going on is Beetle Bird killing a Grey, and the girls using this as an opportunity to break a few more windows. Shards of glass in the alien's eyes notwithstanding, we do still have a problem. There are four active aliens and four of us, and fighting even odds is a sucker's game. So the first thing we do is have DJ Sucre shove his gun where the alien's mouth should be and feed him a lead sandwich. It tastes like rust and anger. Next we move Beetle Burr and Jimmy where they'll be more useful. Only problem is, Beetle Burr doesn't actually have a good shot. The plan is to let Evil Emison take out this alien with a grenade, but after moving her, she is cruelly one square too far away. But what she can do is destroy its cover. Then it's up to Beetober to inform this alien that his lack of cover is not in compliance with the IRS's accounting standards. I'm about to start keeping score. Don't worry, Beetober. The game keeps track of number of kills for you. Our advanced, kindergarten-level mathematics lets us know that we've killed four aliens out of six, so there must be two left. More involved first grade level math will inform us that we can see one, which tells us one is hiding somewhere. And we're pretty sure it's in this yes, room. DJ Sucre conducts a vigorous investigation, and indeed finds that he has a target. Unfortunately, he follows this action by not following generally accepted auditing standards and does minimum damage. With no one else having line of sight to this gray, that means we're going grenades the rest of the way. No, please, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pay the fine. You will pay with your blood. And that leaves the last tax fraudster to beat over. Guys, I've got a gray on the other side of this wall. I need some help. I've got you, Sucre. Just hold still. Why do you need me to hold st- HOLY <laughs> WHO LET YOU HAVE GRENADES?! 
And with that, Operation Peppered Statistics is complete, and we have shut down for good the Xenocentric Tax Evasion Ring in Cape Town. Not only that, but because we finished the mission before either canister of meld expired, we get to take both with us. Nice. One short plane trip and discussion about Beto Burr's explosive ordnance permissions later, we're back at base. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know who you are, Sweater Man. So DJ Sucre is going to be spending a couple days in the med bay. Turns out eating plasma doesn't work out like cartoons where you just spit fire and you're okay the next day. But when he gets back, he will be a heavy. Seems the higher-ups listened to the rest of the team and made Beto Burr a support, thus encouraging him to carry not grenades, but a med pack from here on out. Jimmy's going to be trading her assault rifle for a sniper rifle, and Evil Emison's going to sulk as she didn't get a promotion. In Research Corner, Commander, we have a tough decision to make. To Meld Recombination is the direction we have to go if we want the new toys. That said, Weapons Fragments is the way to get to the toys that we know work. That is to say, better weapons. Plus, getting to the new toys is time consuming. Because after the research, we still then have to build the Cybernetic or Genetics Lab to get to the fun new Gene Mods or Cyber Mods. So, We'll wait until we've completed a few more missions before doing meld recombination, and we'll go with weapons fragments. Next, we head over to engineering and make the med kit that everyone's begging for us to assign to Beto Burr. Then we go downstairs and see what it's going to look like as far as construction goes. And as luck would have it, we have a steam vent that's going to be available to us on the second level. That's pretty good positioning for us. But we do need to excavate the entire right side, and we get that started. After that, it's time to play dress up with my soldiers. Yay! Remember the rules? You don't get a designation until you get a kill or a capture, and that's also the same time when you get yourself a new look. We will start with the wounded, 01, DJ Sucre. Again, we'll make him look like Luigi. Next, we go to 03 Beto Burr, give him his favorite color, red, and then give him a snazzy hat, because Beto Burr fights aliens with style. 06 Jimmy gets a new haircut, and we make her blue and yellow for reasons. Zero five, Yvalemison may have not gotten a kill this mission, but she did in the last set of missions, and so she gets grandfathered in. We bring her back to her Pikachu look. Zero seven, Pharaoh's Queen was able to pull off the trick shot in Operation Vengeful Calculus, so we give her her red, 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 red hair and some light green body armor to complete the ensemble. Before scanning for trouble, Let's go on to one more neat feature of Enemy Within, and that's the fact that they've included all the sound files for all the different localizations. So, if you so choose, you can make your soldiers speak the language native to their countries. Here's Jimmy and the options that she presents us. But since she's from Mexico, we will of course be giving her Spanish. On to scanning for trouble! That's right, sound the alarms, we have an abduction problem. And while Egypt and India are offering us scientists and cash respectfully, we're going to be taking our mission to the city by the bay, where they're offering us the best engineers that the Silicon Valley can offer. Though this really does kind of confirm my suspicions that Google's been data mining XCOM's emails. I mean, how else did they know the exact thing that would get us to come save them? But I for one look forward to having them on the team. Provided, of course, we don't all die on the next mission. Speaking of which, we equip Beto Burr with his med pack. His teammates celebrate. Yay. Let Citrus Architect come along for the ride. And then we're off on the long trip to California. Join us next week as we introduce the aliens to the XCOM version of a San Francisco treat in Operation Reptilian Conversation. Until then, Vigilo Confido, splice out.